Okay. All right. Oh, what's good, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana Remy, all the way from Tanzania. Back with another reaction video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to react to Stranger Things theories. I saw them on TikTok and I was like, I want to. I want to react to that. Like, I want to react to that ASAP. So, my friend sent me a link um, from TikTok. We were talking about Stranger Things, and she said, "Yo, D, check this out. Um, this guy's what is the name? Um, they're called Just the Nobodies. Uh, just the Nobodies." Let me screen record. Just the nobodies um, they're out here and talking about these theories, and I was like, "What? This is really beautiful. I really need to check it and check this out." So let's go. I'm gonna review the videos. This is the first video. They're like six, four, five. I don't know, but let's go and check this one. Then we're gonna check another one and another one and another one and another one. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we are going to discuss them. So let's go and get it. I'm excited. There's a Stranger Things theory that someone is actually a hidden villain. A hidden villain. So in a recent interview, the actor Caleb McLaughlin, who plays Lucas, actually said one word to describe this season was the word traitor. And we just got introduced to the most powerful villain yet, Vecna, who attacks teenagers that have a lot of trauma. Vecna is a lot scarier than I thought. But in the past, we've seen the Mind Flayer use like Will and Billy as spies in the real world. But there's a theory that Vecna oh. is actually doing this again. And the person that he's using is Miss Kelly, the yeah. Yeah, I knew this. When I watched this series, I knew like she was different. Like she was different. I don't know the fact. I'm gonna watch the full video. I don't know the fact, but I was like, what she is? Okay, she's a school counselor. What? Oh my god. Why she interview those kids who are gonna die? I don't know. I just picture like, oh my god, this is different. Like she's different. Maybe she's working with Vec Vecna, and I was like, okay, let me just. Chill, chill. Okay, let's see that fact. Wait, what? So there's a bunch of hidden details that actually point to her being a villain. And the set directors of the show said that everything we see on screen has a purpose. And we know that Vecna always shows his victims a grandfather clock and he chimes it before he kills them. But if you look closely at Miss Kelly's necklace, it's a clock ah! that's in the shape of a key. And many are saying that her key will fit in Vecna's grandfather clock and will unlock the time in the upside down. But if you look at the clock in her house, it's literally in the shape of a keyhole, showing that She's the key to Vecna. And we also know that two out of the three victims of Vecna have been patients of Miss Kelly. And nobody would expect the high school counselor to be the villain, which makes her the perfect traitor. There's a ah! stranger things there. You know, I, I was just watching a series. I didn't care about what she wore. Okay, that people So really, did you know that? That people who really know how to watch this series, like, oh, she wore that clock. That key is gonna open Vecna clock. I didn't see that. Okay, let's go. To Vecna one. has been in every single season since season one. Mm. So Vecna was introduced in season four and his backstory. And we know that whenever he kills someone, he makes his victim see the grandfather clock and plays like a weird clock chime. Right. But there's actually proof that Vecna has been in the show seasons one through four. Because in season one, when Eleven is making the first contact with the Demogorgon, you can hear a clock ticking, basically showing that Vecna is present. And when Will sees the Demogorgon in the middle of the street before he goes missing, you can actually hear a clock chime just like in season four. Wait, what the heck? And in season two, when Hopper like goes into the Mind Flare tunnel where all the Demodogs are, you can actually hear a clock chime the exact same way it is in season four. And in season three, when Billy gets possessed by the Mind Flare and he's in the Upside Down, you can actually hear the clock chime multiple times. And it's basically showing that Vecna has been present this entire time ever since Eleven sent him to the Upside Down. That's so freaky. So did you know that Vecna Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. Let's go. There's a crazy. 
He knew Stranger Things theory about who's gonna die in volume two. Dude, this season has been crazy. Yeah, but spoiler warning if you haven't seen it yet. So remember back when we got the trailer for season four? People started to find like a hidden picture in the trailer that showed like a bunch of different gates to the upside down. Yeah, I remember when it like flashed on the screen really quick. And in this season, we learned that wherever and whenever Vecna kills someone, it will create a new portal to the upside down. Right. So the theory is that the hidden picture in the trailer is literally showing us how many people are gonna be killed in this season because of how many portals there are. Because in the picture, it shows us four different portals but so far, only three portals have been created because of Vecna's killing. So that means someone in the next two episodes will die. Because we know that Vecna targets people that have extreme guilt. So that means it could possibly be Steve. Because we know he has a lot of guilt from being a bully in high school. And it could also be Nancy because she has so much guilt for Barb. Yeah, and Barb needs some justice. Yeah, but it also could be Hopper because we learned that he has a lot of guilt because yeah. of the death of his daughter Sarah. Okay, I don't want Steve to die, but I just feel like he might die. There's a crazy new strategy. Oh my god, I don't know. I just, I don't want anyone to die. Please! Eleven, do something. You created this monster. Do something. I don't want everyone, I don't, I don't want anyone to die. You know, when I was watching episode Dear Billy, I was like, don't let Max die. Because I love that girl. I love her. And if you're gonna let her die, I'm gonna cry. I didn't say I'm, I'm gonna stop watching. Obvious, I'm gonna continue watching, but I'm gonna cry. But don't let, don't let Hopper die. He went through a lot. Please, I don't know. I feel like my dear Nancy. I feel like Nancy's gonna call it quits. I feel like, you know. Okay, the people who are gonna die on this show is gonna be Nancy and Steve. I think. No hopper. First of all, Vecna targets teenagers, and that those are teenagers first. And second, when um my English is not that perfect, but I will get it. Um, when Dustin opened the the gate for them, like to to come back to the real world and to get out from the upside down. You remember uh, the freak? Actually, I don't remember his name. The freak. Freak, what's the freak name? I don't remember his name actually. The guy who they're finding uh, Eddie. Eddie, when Eddie jumped, um, Steve and Nancy were the remaining. You remember that part? My English is not that perfect, but Steve and Ed, I mean Steve and Nancy remained to the upside to the to the upside down world and. Um, Steve and the girl, actually, I forgot her name. I, I mean, Eddie and the girl jumped. So, Steve told Nancy, see you on the other side. When people say that word, they're gonna die. I know that word, and I hate that word, and I respect that word, and I'm not gonna use that word. When people use that word, they're gonna die. Why Steve told her, see you from the other side? That's my theory. That's my theory. Yes, I'm genius. I'm a genius. Whew. See you on the other side. Many people who, like, you know, kill themselves, do suicide. They always say, "See you from the other. See you on the other side." It's like the, the word which people use when they know they're gonna die or maybe something's gonna. I don't know, but I hate that word and I'm not. I'm never gonna use it and. Please don't use that word. It's cursed. So, Steve and Nancy. Not Hopper. Steve and Nancy. Oh my god. I don't want Steve to die. I just want to... Oh, and they love each other. So that's going to be the, the ending. Steve and Nancy. The, okay. They say four? Portals? Three already open? Remain one? So who's going to die? Let me go back to this video. Let me go back to this video. So only one person is gonna die. That showed like a bunch of different gates to the upside down. Yeah, I remember the five. That on the screen really quick. And in this season, we learned that wherever and whenever Vecna kills someone, it will create a new portal to the upside down. Right. So the theory is that the hidden picture in the trailer is literally showing us how many people are five going to be Six. killed in the season because of how many portals there are. Because in the picture, it shows us four different portals, but so far, only three portals have been created because of Vecna's killing. So that means so. I know. I don't know, but we're gonna see.
okay and we're done here there are three videos i don't know who this is saying had a theory there's a stranger thing okay those are four videos so thank you all for watching this beautiful video with me i really enjoyed like i didn't know man i really enjoyed it. it's very beautiful and amazing um tell me in the comment section what do you feel what do you know about all of this i'll see you guys in the next reaction video i love you so much bye